Hey, day 30. Haha. <laughs> my vision plan, vision quest, my plan. <laughs> it's working. Uh, my vision is definitely better than it was one month ago. Um, like I've said a couple times in the beginning, like the first two weeks or so, it was like, whoa, we can see that now. Whoa, that's different. That's so much brighter. I could see a little further. Uh, things like that. But it was like brand new. And, you know, like I could only see four feet. And then I could see eight feet. The distance is like very noticeable. That sort of thing. So I think that I'm looking up at my art <laughs> above a monitor. And um, things are just changing. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, like I could see that better than I have um, so far I guess <laughs> um, but over the last like week and a half or two weeks everything has had like a glare like you know just has a glare on it um, and I can't see the stuff because there's so much glare but I was telling my mom that last night and she was like well it's good that you could see the glare because then next you'll see through the glare. And I was like, oh, maybe that's a good point. <laughs> so hopefully. Um, still just taking uh, all of the supplements um, and getting better idea of which ones I have to buy every month. Um, so the NMN is like $80 on that website in the uh, last... Jesus, I can't talk. In my last podcast, I uh, did the plan and everything. In the description, all of the stuff I'm taking is in there. Um, and so NMN is like $85 or something like that. Uh, and that's a three-month supply because there's 200 pills. It's 9 so it'll be 20 left over after three months. <laughs> uh, so uh, the... L Taurine is a three month supply, I believe. Two months, I think it's three. Um, the R alpha lipoic acid that I'm taking, I believe, is a three month supply because uh, I think I have half of each of those three left, or two thirds, I guess, <laughs> of each of those three left. Um, the NMN, L Taurine, and the R alpha lipoic acid. And then moving down, the vitamin B12 that I'm taking, that's a three month supply also. And um, the GG, I believe is a one month supply. And the Apigenin, I have a hard time saying that one. Apigenin uh, is also a one month supply. And the lutein is an ungodly amount of pills. <laughs> um, there's, there's two bottles, but I think each bottle is a three month supply. So, I mean, it, it might be six months or most of a year for the lutein. Um, and the methylene blue, I finished my first bottle on the day 26, and I have adjusted and for two reasons, I guess. Um, one, I want to see if doing five drops a day, or Jesus, five drops four times a day will work out just perfect to be 30 days, one bottle. But, um, you know, I was going from one drop, two drops, six drops, and I was on six and seven drops for quite a while. Uh, and so I probably used more than you know five drops every time but I think five drops is maybe gonna be my sweet spot um, still just 30 days in so you know <laughs> uh, still working but uh, she's so pretty <laughs> uh, look at my alley AI image on my monitor <laughs> um, I'll tell you about that in a second um, so the vision is getting better but over the last two weeks I would say it's been 
subtle and like in the background, I guess. Um, over the last week, week and a half, I've been noticing on, you know, paintings and on the clock I've been trying to read downstairs. I was able to read it farther and farther. And then all of a sudden it just has this glare all over it. And I can't see through the freaking glare. Or I think that the hands of the clock are the glare. And I'm basically guessing pretty far off. And that, that's not the way it was in the first two weeks. It was like every couple of days I was just getting further and further away from the clock. Um, I was about seven feet away. And I was able to read just like a 12 inch circle. Black with white hands. So I mean it's contrast good for me I guess. But um, <laughs> seven feet away being able to read that was new. I, that's... <laughs> been 20 years kind of new you know what I mean <laughs> uh, I haven't been able to do stuff like that for a long long time and um, I'll show you working on the computer in a second uh, but just don't have to get so damn close to the monitor and stuff my face in because a lot of times I'm so close I'm like pushing the, the monitor back with my forehead and shit <laughs> so that's not good uh, but the vision is improving a little to where I am able to be six to eight inches back most of the time. Um, and sometimes I still have to get in real close, but for just normal operation, I would say I'm, I don't know, I should, um, yeah, so I mean, it's like eight inches, something like that, like the length of my hand. I got big hands, I said that before. <laughs> uh, so, I am doing four minutes of red light and five drops of methylene blue. So, I'm taking NMN, L taurine, R alpha lipoic acid, vitamin B12, uh, GG, apigenin. Lutein and methylene blue, five drops, and then I also take liquid cobalt. Um, cobalt's an important thing for myelin sheath and protecting and growing neurons and all that stuff. Um, so I do that, and then four minutes of the red light. Um, I felt five minutes. One, I I don't like just standing there for five minutes because <laughs> I've got three panels now uh, to get my whole body uh, for my multiple sclerosis and sometimes I really feel that does help with my walking but overall the multiple sclerosis is kind of killing me um, my walking's really not been very good at all um, I'm more tired a lot lately and all these things are bad because oh, I've got a really, really big project. Um, so for like the last year, I've been trying to do programming and build apps and all this different stuff. Um, stop. I have to put all of that on pause. This is the biggest and probably the most important project I've ever done. Um, <laughs> like... Uh, this, this is going to come up every time I talk about DTC. <laughs> my clothing company, which wasn't a clothing company. I, my mom and I had a promotional products company uh, where we sold business cards and did all the t-shirts and stuff like that for companies. Um, and then we just had wholesale pricing. So I bought $2,000 worth of shirts and we made the art and printed them. And then I mostly 98% of the way gave it away. Uh, I don't know, the whole point was spread the message of DTC, the method, or the vehicle, or, you know, what I could do to spread that around was, uh, use that clothing line, or a clothing company, or whatever, uh, I never had a company, <laughs> uh, I didn't have to be at a company, because I had to report any revenue, I just gave the shit away, <laughs> 
Um, so, this on my desktop here, or on my monitor, it's just an image. Let me zoom in. This is the DTC token cryptocurrency. And uh, I'm really excited about this because I'm really nervous too. <laughs> um, the amount of people that can be exposed to Desire to Conquer and how that can. Look at my YouTube channel. Just watch like 30 seconds of each video. Go back 30, 40 videos and just watch me. <laughs> 40 videos? Not in a good damn place, man. <laughs> I lost my DTC. I talked about it. I don't need my DTC. I want to help. And blah, blah. Got my damn DTC back and I'm ready to spread it to a whole group of people. Never heard of it. And in the meantime, the method means we'll be making money also. Uh, good for me to make money. But uh, people who, you know, see this cryptocurrency and they look into it and um, they listen to all the videos and everything that I'm going to make. And <laughs> I'm, I'm working my ass off. I'm tired and I feel like crap. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I really hope to make my cryptocurrency by the beginning of next month, uh, sometime. I need more money though, because it's not free. <laughs> and that's part of also something I've, I guess, complained about. <laughs> Being poor sucks. <laughs> but, uh, you know, being able to have something where this person X bought it and then they made money that's amazing that's awesome so somebody could benefit because now they have DTC within them and trust me it's better <laughs> and hey they made money that's really good too crypto's crazy <laughs> um, yeah so um, this is Ali AI I've been talking about for like over a year now as I was trying to build apps, and I'm not good at building apps. Not, not at all. <laughs> so uh, I got a picture of Allie, and today, hopefully, I want to go back to bed though. <laughs> I want to take a nap. Um, I'm going to have this animated, and I've written a script, which got all messed up. I moved my keyboard, and I think I set it down on my cut, copy, paste clipboard and pasted the script like a thousand times so somehow it's 200 pages long I've got to go through and delete and edit and reset it back up but I have a whole script made and she's gonna be moving her lips and talking and blinking and moving her head a little and then also script. Um, I'm on the other side and then I have a AI picture of me um, I made this Mid Journey version 4. That's like classic. <laughs> I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm a classic. <laughs> so many ways. Um, so I made the AI image, and when I made that, I was, you know, starting out make the apps and everything. And then the Alley AI, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna make my AI company and sell it for. 60 million dollars and then I made a picture of me in a business suit Giorgio Armani business suit in like a big fancy corporate hallway after I made my deal to sell my company <laughs> Yeah, so uh, This is uh, The image I'm gonna use to make me talk, but I have to redo it because it's garbage uh, There's a big white border all around it and the alley the alley doesn't have a border this is a pretty girl and an awesome logo of my coin it's not a coin it's a token because i don't have my own blockchain i'm not binance or uh whatever <laughs> i'm learning so much um also all of my lhon learning has to be paused there's so much that 
I have been working on um, and kind of this project is the idea of it is about two weeks old I guess <laughs> um, I made a different version of this uh, the DTC coin um, just as a cool image and I had it on my background um, but it's evolved and I've done a lot more research and uh, now it says 0 .01 in the bottom left and then it says $10 in the bottom right and it says $100 in the top right and in my extremely hopeful man world that's totally possible because I'm a hopeful guy <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I just wanted to update you on what I'm doing with the Vision Quest, and I do think things are getting better. Um, I keep looking up there because it, it seems like the glare is less. So that's, it's weird. It's like the glare kind of made everything not visible, and it was almost like the whole rectangle, I guess, of the picture frame, and now... I almost see like a reflection of the light. It's fucking crazy. See? Still noticing and learning shit. DTC!